Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Again, listening to none other than Pastor John J. Tatum. The album CD entitled Torah. The song is entitled Torah. The Torah is instruction to life. The Torah leads in righteousness. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy Torah is true. It's a teacher and schoolmaster to bring us to the place of the Torah, Basura of Yehusha Hamashiach, right? Who was our kinsman redeemer. Can't do nothing without the Torah. Can't learn without the Torah. We can't feel without the Torah. I can't live without it. I can't love without it. I can't feel without it. Your Torah. Listen. I offer my life to Yahuwah on behalf of you as a living sacrifice to bring the Basura of truth, to bring the Torah of truth to you. Not because of who I am, because of the Ruach HaKadosh in me, because of the Basura in me. Yahushua said, the words you've given me, I've given them, they've kept them. I'm keeping his Torah. And I'm giving his Torah to you. Father, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, take the reins of my lips. Take the reins of my tongue and reign, Yahuwah. By your Ruach HaKadosh, cause me to speak the oracles of Alua. Cause me to speak the oracles of Yahushua. Yahuwah, cause me to speak the Torah of truth. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua, I, I, I don't want to injure anybody. I don't want to cause anybody to stumble. I don't want to cause anybody to turn away from the Basura of Truth. But I recognize that by the Ruach HaKadosh, I have a mandate to give out the gospel, to give out, to give out the Basura. Give out the Basura of Truth, not the gospel, but the Basura of Truth. Yahuwah, I declare it to be so in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Ruach HaKadosh, I submit to you. I submit to you. I submit to you. I submit to you. Spirit of Yahushua. A spirit of Alua, I submit to you. Lead me, guide me, direct me. Hallelujah. Yahuwah, I present myself a living sacrifice. Ruach HaKadosh, I submit myself to you. To use, to speak, to minister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Yahushua, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Yahuwah. As I submit to thy Ruach HaKadosh, declaring the oracles of Yahuwah, declaring the Basura of Yahushua. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Listen, I can't live. I can't live without it. I can't be transformed without it. There's no transformation apart from the Basura of truth. You have to be renewed in the spirit of your mind, right? You need the Basura of Truth in order to live by the Ruach HaKadosh. Because the Ruach HaKadosh is going to discern to you what's in the Torah, the Basura. Gotta have them all. Be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Ruach HaKadosh. There's a baptism of the Ruach HaKadosh. No mercy without it. Man of Yah, woman of Yah. You have to love the Basura. Look, I love the Basura too. <laughs> it's by everything. Ah, listen, I live to do this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Pastor John J. Tatum.
the Torah album. The song is Torah. I do not own the rights to this music. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, we going in. I love the Basura of Yehukanan. I do. Right? I think uh, next to um, the Psalms and uh, specifically the 119th Division of Psalms. Right? I mean, I love the entire song. I love the entire entire manuscript. I love I love from Genesis to Revelation and everything in between. That which is included and that which was not included in the canon. But I love it all. Right. But I love you who cannot. 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 I love the basaur of you who cannot. Yes, I do. We going in. I think I need to say that. So we in John. We're going to be in John till Yahuwah takes me somewhere else. Or if he leads me somewhere else, right? If he leads me something else. But, but we're going to deal with this text right here. So we're in the 10th chapter of John, right? And Yahusha is beginning to, I wouldn't even say beginning to, but at this point, speak in parables because you know i mean it's recorded in the 10th chapter that he began to speak in parables but for our we know he could have been speaking in parables before then but it's recorded for your imuna this 10th chapter right so yuhukanan opens up in the first vap first uh, verse of the 10th chapter saying verily verily i say unto you truly truly listen listen pay attention pay attention to what I am saying, he says, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, right? But climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Now listen, right? In order to really understand the motivation behind this parable and the statement, you have to look at the ninth chapter, right? Because... Yahushua was dealing with the so-called Pharisees, right? These religious Edomite, these religious Esau kind of, these people that have come in, right? Right? As shepherds to the sheep, right? Some other way. They've come in some other way. They haven't come in the way of the Levitical priesthood. They've come in by the way of Herod. Right? Herod was a descendant of Edom. Edomite. Esau. Herod, right? And Herod appointed the people in the positions he wanted them to be in. And they were a lot of Edomites. They had no heritage. You know, you you were servants. You who should refer to servants. You ain't got no heritage. He said, a shepherd that enters in to the sheepfold, right now, you understand that a sheepfold was a place, a stall, a location close to, um, sometimes attached to, right, where the shepherds laid their head, right? But they were these, 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 these uh, corrals, if you will. Where in order to gain access, you had to go through a specific door, right? Into the sheepfold, right? Now, if you went through the sheepfold door, it reflects your ownership or your right to gain access to it by virtue of who you were, right? You were true shepherds. <laughs> ah! Hallelujah, right? But if you did not, then you came in another way, right? Yahushua was dealing with these wicked Pharisees who had entered into the position of being in the sheepfold as shepherds, but they were thieves and robbers. They were not Yahudim.
these men, these, these, these religious political leaders that are attached to the nation by Herod, who was an Edomite or Esau, right? Put people in positions, right? And had them oversee the, the religious affairs of maintaining the Torah and the control of the people. Right, it's the same thing today. You got the black, these these black pastors <laughs> that set up, right? That set up for the sole purpose of keeping the people in check, herding them up, telling them, listen, y'all y'all need to get Maxine. <laughs> same thing. Right? But they were shepherds that did not have access to the sheepfold. Right? So the only way that they could get in was as thieves and robbers. Right? Right? They passed themselves off as shepherds. But in reality, they weren't shepherds, right? They were thieves. They were robbers. They were those who were put in place that they didn't belong. They were there to exercise authority or rights that they did not have. Right? They were in these positions to maintain control over those who were the called, right? And to exert their influence, right? For the purpose of gaining wealth, right? And for the purpose of, right? Stealing and robbing. These Pharisees, these leaders, these wicked men, they enter in to the sheep gate and Yahushua has not given them entrance. Yahushua says, listen, anybody that comes into the sheepfold that comes in by any other way but the door is a thief and a robber. Anyone that carries this basura without having come through the way, the truth, and the life, and without having received the Ruach HaKadosh that's leading people and sheep is a robber. Yeah, some of y'all ain't gonna like that. Some, 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 some of your elders... Uh, and, and some of your mores and your and your emas and your your moras and your akis and your kotis, yeah. Some of you ain't gonna like that, but it don't matter, right? You have to come through the door, right? Now the door is Yahusha's basura of truth. You have to believe on Yahusha. Right? Pharisees and Sadducees didn't believe on Yahusha. Hey, the Pharisees and Sadducees didn't believe the Torah. They didn't believe the Torah. They didn't have to believe the Torah. They were thieves and robbers. They gained access, right, into the sheepfold, right? They gained access to the sheepfold strictly for the political purpose of maintaining control over the nation of Yashara at the hands of Herod, the Edomite. And no doubt they were Edomites or had some Edomite blood. Robbers, thieves, robbers and thieves. He's talking about, he's talking up, he's talking about the nation. No, he's talking about the nation of Esau. He's talking about Esau's people entering into the sheepfold. You don't even have a right to enter into the sheepfold. You don't have a right to enter in. You a servant. 
You're not a son. You're a servant. You have a right to this. And you need to know it's a thief and a robber. You need to know that they're thieves and robbers. Oh, yeah, you know they wanted to kill him. He says, but he that enters in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. He that enters by the door is a shepherd. He that has access in has come by the way of the Torah of truth, by obedience, and by the way of the nation as appointed, right, as the Levitical priesthood, right? They are the way, and they have the besorah of truth, right? You can't get in. No, you climbed in some other way gain access because of Herod and, you know you gain access because of Pilate you know they set up the structure of the what's gonna happen in the in the lives of the Yahudim huh the oppressing is gonna occur you know they they wanted to kill you because they don't want to lose their seat they don't want to lose their wealth they don't want to lose their influence they don't want to lose none of that right they didn't want to lose anything they were thieves and robbers Yahushua is the way. The way is obedience to Torah. Blessed are the undefiled in the way. Uh, let's just go to just to go there. Let's go there. Let's go back there. Even though we know Psalms, because this is I quote it all the time. Blessed are the undefiled in the way. The way in the way. Yahushua is the way, right? Who walk in the Torah of Yahuwah. So the Torah is the way. Right? Because the way is represented by walking in. And walking in the Torah is the way. Right? It's the way. Anybody that entereth in the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Right? Right? But anyone that climbeth in any other way than the Torah of truth that it represents those that are in the way, anybody that comes in any other way than the way, right? The same as a thief and a robber. The same as a thief and and a robber. Anybody that comes in, any shepherd that does not have the Ruach HaKadosh is in the way. No, I don't mean like in the way of Yahushua. I mean they're in the way. They're like standing in the way. They're preventing because they don't have the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? Because you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahushua told the disciples don't go and preach the way until you receive the Ruach HaKadosh. <laughs> Yahushua told the disciples to tarry and wait for the Ruach HaKadosh in these assemblies. You got people teaching they ain't got the Ruach HaKadosh. I'm not saying all assemblies. I'm not specifying any assembly in particular. But I'm telling you, if there was more Ruach HaKadosh in these assemblies, you wouldn't have so much dysfunction. You wouldn't have the dysfunction. Because the Ruach HaKadosh leads and guides you into our truth. Look, the disciples were together and they had the Ruach HaKadosh. And as long as they continued in unity in the Ruach HaKadosh, they didn't have this function. But once they lost their unity, of course, this function is going to take place. You got to have the Ruach HaKadosh to be the shepherd that enters the door to the sheep. And if you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, you, you're a thief and a robber. You've entered into the door. You ain't even entered in the door. You climbed in through the window. Right? You climbed into the roof. You climbed up on the roof and, and broke a hole in the, in the, in the, in the ceiling and, 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 and lowered your waist down. You're a thief. You're a robber. You're a thief. You're a robber. I'm going to say it again. Any 
any elder, any Ema, any uh, 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 Mora, Mora, any, any, uh, any uh, 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 Alkoti, any Aki that that do not have the Ruach Hakadesh, you can't lead nobody. They should know the truth and the truth make it free. I'm trying to make somebody free. I'm trying by the Ruach HaKadosh because he's giving me this. He's giving me this. I haven't just decided to... If you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, you don't have what you need to lead anybody. You, who should told the disciples to wait and tarry and for the promise of the Ruach HaKadosh, right? They had already received the baptism. They had already received the word. They were walking in the word, but they needed the Ruach HaKadosh because that was the seal. That was the, the, the Ruach of revelation, the revelation of the truth. They needed it. Peter wouldn't have been able to get up and preach uh, the the message that he preached. He wouldn't have been able to pray and tell them they need to be repent. They would uh, to repent and be baptized in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach for the remission of your sins. Would nobody have listened to him? Because he didn't have the power. He didn't have the ruach. He didn't have the authority. Listen, you got to teach these people that they need the ruach Hakadesh. You got to teach these people, mamas, mothers, emas. You have to teach these sisters, they need the Ruach HaKadosh. Elders, you need to teach these brothers, they need the Ruach HaKadosh. And if they don't want to, they don't want to move in it, sit them down. Don't let them do nothing. Until they are able to learn and receive the, the, the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to have the Ruach HaKadosh. I don't care how eloquent you can speak. I don't care how eloquently you can declare a thing. I, I could care less. More importantly, Yahushua and Yahuwah could care less. Because you need him and the Father in you. The Ruach HaKadosh. To be able to do this. If you do it any other way, you're a thief and a robber. It wasn't just accepting Yahushua as your Savior. It ain't because you're a Hebrew. And you know you're a brew now? You gonna go and teach? What? Are you you done bumped your head. You done lost your mind. Right? Oh, you might want to pass some information and some research that you've received. But the revelation of Yahukana? I mean the revelation of Yahusha? Yahukana Yahuka Yahukana? The word made flesh, you ain't qualified to teach it. Because you don't have the Ruach HaKadesh to rightfully divide it, rightly divide it. You don't have the Ruach HaKadosh to rightly divide the word. You don't have the Ruach HaKadosh. How you going to teach somebody and you ain't got the Ruach HaKadosh? You know you ain't got the Ruach HaKadosh. Oh, I'm a Hebrew. I'm going to teach my people. Teach them what? The day Hebrews? Look, they don't need to be taught that. All they need to do is read that. But they need to know how to live. And how to live is Ruach in this life. You have to have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to be led and guided into all truth. You ain't going to make it. Just because you're a Hebrew teaching somebody. Te oh, I'm a Hebrew. I'm going to teach the Torah. You go right ahead and teach the Torah. Right? Right? Because that same Torah that you teach is going to judge you. Because Yahushua said you got to come his way. Right? You got to come his way. You got to come the way of the baptism of the Father, the baptism of the Son, and the baptism of the Ruach HaKadosh. And if you ain't got one of them, you missed it all. Yeah, I said it. Churches, is all, the sem, excuse me, assemblies is all vexed out and vexed up. And everybody know you vexed out and vexed up. Because you ain't got the Ruach HaKadosh flowing in your ministry. Because you are allowing the people not, you allowing them to do what they want to do. There's a shift coming. There's a shift coming. Oh yeah, there's a shift coming in assemblies. There's a shift coming in Great Awakening. There's a shift coming in Rebirth. There's a shift coming in uh, and Pastor Dow, or whatever his ministry is. There's a shift coming in the and the and the, and the the ministries that are not attached to any of these. All of them. There's a shift coming, right? And the shift is if you don't have the Ruach Hakadosh, whatever you have is going to be blown out. 
If you ain't teaching your people how to live by the rule of that's what you have is going to be blown out. It's going to be a candle that's going to go. Because you're allowing people to move and are in the Ruach HaKadosh. You can't do it. You can't let people teach. And they ain't got the Ruach HaKadosh. Oh, I'm going to let this brother up. I'm going to give this brother an opportunity to speak. No, you ain't. What are you going to do? Testify of the goodness of Yahuwah? Okay, but that's it. And even that, you, you, you better have some evidence of the Ruach HaKadosh. Thieves and robbers, Pharisees, thieves and robbers, Edomite, Esau descendants was, was, was thieves and robbers. They've always been thieves and robbers, right? Esau, Ishmael, they've always been thieves and robbers. But he that entereth in by the door it's a shepherd. What? Now why? Because they believed the Basura. They, they, they believed the Torah of truth. They obeyed the Torah of truth. They received the Basura of Yahushua HaMashiach because he's the way. Yahushua had been telling, telling these Pharisees and all the people that would hear him that he is the way. And then some of them was like, oh yeah, that's Mashiach. He's the way. Oh yeah, some of them was like, oh yeah, he's a prophet. He's a good prophet. Right. Some of them went, yeah, man, that man got devils. I think he had devils. We need to take him and stone him, right? Yahushua says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Those who believe on me shall receive the light of life. Excuse me. Because Yahushua is the way. His Basora, his Torah is truth. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy Torah is truth. The Torah, the Word, was made flesh, and it dwelt among us, and we beheld its glory, full of grace and truth. Yahushua brought the Torah with mercy and grace and truth. He was righteous. The Torah was righteous. But the Torah, in and of itself, lacked mercy. Yahushua was touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He understood what it meant. That's why he could go to the woman and say, who, is, who, who, who condemns you? She said, none, Lord. They, they're all gone. He said, neither do I, but go and sin no more. Right? Because Torah is true. And there is judgment attached to Torah. But I'm here to bring mercy and Torah. Only the shepherd of the sheep enter in at the door. And who are the shepherds? The shepherds are those who have received the witness of the Father, which we see the witness of the Son, and who have received the witness of the baptism of the Ruach HaKadosh. Oh man, you're just trying to bring the church into the awakening. Please. Please. The Gentiles got it in their hands and they messed it up because they didn't have the Ruach HaKadosh. They just pretended and jumped around and thought they did. And then they gave it to us. And, you know, we, we started exploding in it with, with, with the, with the holy, uh, 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 shout. Right. Right. In the flesh, all natural in the flesh. Right. Not, not Ruach. Rock that, that wasn't Ruach. I know ain't nobody. You who, who whoever you have to hear this. <laughs> I give you praise because it's for him who have an ear to hear what the Ruach is saying. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Okay, he says, to him the porter opens the door, right? To him the porter opens the door, right? The porter is the one on the inside of the sheepfold. Right? You see, somebody's knocking on the door, right? And if you're the shepherd, the person on the other side of the door, the porter, lets you in, right? So that word in the Hebrew, porter, that's what that word in the Hebrew means, right? 
That word in the Hebrew is Strong's G twenty three seventy seven. Thuros. 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 Right. That word is a doorkeeper. Right. A porter. A male or female janitor. Janitor. See, because the janitor has keys. Janitor is the only one really with the keys other than the owner of the property. He's got keys. But the janitor who comes in and makes sure the place is cleaned up and taken care of, you know, that the sheep is there, you know, sheep are in the stalls and that stall is now all roughed up and messed up. You know, the sheep can come in there and they can be comfortable while they're there. Right? The porter. The janitor. Who's responsible for the house in the absence of the janitor that's responsible for the maintenance, the maintenance of the stalls, the, the maintenance of the door that gains access to the sheep, right? He's got the keys. Who has control? Who? The porter. Of who comes in? <sighs> to him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. So now, Yahushua is still trying to get the people to understand using a parable. How only those who are going to hear his words are his sheep. Only those that hear his words, hear his voice, hear the word from his mouth, right? And hear and obey. It's the same. It's Torah. It's the same. the same let's do this All right we go we go let's do this All right let's do this deuteronomy the 28th chapter right it shall come to pass if you hearken diligently unto the voice of yahuwah thy allure and observe and to do all his commandments which he command thee this day right that Yahuwah thy Lord will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth but you have to hear his voice and his voice is his commandments Yahushua said And the sheep hear his voice, his commandments, his words. It's the same thing. The Basora is the Torah full of grace and truth and mercy. There's no separation. Listen. The Torah has never been new for us. It was. It's not new for us. The Torah was given to our ancestors. Yahushua's coming is not a new Torah. It's a fulfillment of what was spoken in earlier days concerning the Torah. To the Gentiles, it's a new Basora. Because they never had the Torah. For the Gentiles, this is something new. Did they still have to keep the Torah? Yeah, absolutely. 
Paul never said, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. But he said, let not fornication and covetousness be named amongst you. Don't do it. That's the commandments. That's Torah. So the Bessar is not new to us. We were his descendants. We are his nation. We are his people. That's why they knew what he was talking about because it was their history. It was their life. Not to the other nations, you know. You know, this is, a, this is the time of the Gentiles, right? The other nations, right? This is new. Yeah, it's new. They get faith in Hamashiach, right? What was, it? What was Paul? Paul was talking. Um, where was that at, you? Paul was having a conversation. I think it was, was it Galatians. He was talking, talking to the church, right? Talking to the assembly, talking to the church, right? And what he was saying was, what's that? Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I'll do it this way. Let me do it this way. Yahusha, I mean, uh, Paul was um, talking to the church, right? Let me see, where is that? Uh, uh, where was that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Paul was talking to the church, right? We're going we, we, we gonna to do this real quick. Let's, Let's go to Galatians, the fifth chapter. Right? So Paul's talking to the church at Galatia. Right? Talking to the church at Galatia. And how the church of Galatia, the Galatians, right? Gentile church, had received Hamashiach's Besor of Truth. Right? And having received Hamashiach's Besor of Truth, right? They was convinced that they needed to be circumcised, right? Gentiles. That they needed to be circumcised like the nation was circumcised, right? It's this whole thing about circumcision. And how they needed, they felt the need to be circumcised. Let's, let's do this. Paul says, stand fast, therefore, in the liber liberty wherewith Hamashiach hath made you free. Stand fast in the, in the faith in Hamashiach, besor of truth, walking in that obedience and walking in the Ruach HaKadosh, because that's all you need to do. Because if you keep in the besor of truth, right, you're going to keep the Torah of truth, because the Torah of truth is able to, you can keep the Torah of truth because you have the Ruach HaKadosh now on the inside of you, right? Right? You, you you ain't trying to go back to a law, right, that was righteous but didn't pro provide mercy. A law that wasn't given to you, it was given to a people. Paul says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty whereof Hamashiach has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Don't be bound. Don't get tangled up in bondage again. Right? Don't allow yourself to be put into bondage. He said, listen, behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Hamashiach shall profit you nothing. Now, listen, that was not a kick against being circumcised because the nation of Yasharal was circumcised. And it was in, in, in line with the covenant that he established with his people, his people, his people, right? A covenant that he has with his people that a covenant would that would continue with his people right 
Don't don't leave what you've received through 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 the Basara of truth, the Torah made flesh, and having received the Ruach Hakodesh, and think now you need to go back and be circumcised and 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 fall under the the Torah, the law that have no mercy. It's righteous. The Torah is righteous, right? But the Torah was a schoolmaster, right? Don't go to the schoolmaster when you've already made it past the schoolmaster. Paul says, I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to the whole law. Listen, as a nation of people, we were in debt to the whole law. If we violated one portion of the law, we were in debt to that law. We had to have a sacrifice. A sacrifice had to be made on behalf of whatever that violation was. That's if the violation warranted a sacrifice. The violation might have warranted death. Woman taken in adultery, right? That violation war warranted death for her and the man that was supposed to be taken. That they wasn't taken by the Pharisees. But they both were subject to death. The Torah is righteous. There's nothing wrong about the righteous. The Torah, there was nothing bad about the righteous Torah. The Torah was righteous, but we just needed mercy. Yahuwah knew the Torah was righteous and he expected us to, to abide by it. But it wasn't until Yahushua came that mercy was attached to it because he was moved by the feelings of our infirmities. Yahushua had to come because there had to be somebody that could keep Torah. That could keep Torah, right? And be full of grace and truth without sin. That could also be a sacrifice once and for all for the nation. You in debt to the whole law. You Gentile who elect to walk from Yahushua Hamashiach and faith in the Basura of truth. Having received the Ruach HaKadosh, and now you want to go back and be made perfect under the Basora. I mean, under the Torah. He says, Christ has become of no effect to you because you're going back to something that Yahushua himself says, unless you come through me, right? No man, listen, no man has eternal life without coming through Hamashiach. So you want to go back to a system that's righteous that you ain't going to be able to even make sacrifices for because Yahushua completed the sacrifice of it all, right? All you got to do is walk in obedience and read the, keep the Ruach HaKadosh on the inside of you and, and keep the Torah. But you want to walk away from Hamashiach and dive into something, right? By circumcision, right? That they weren't even able to live up to. That's why he's in Yusha. Listen, doesn't mean that people didn't receive Yeshua who obeyed the Torah. Because they did. Now we receive salvation. All of them, Solomon, Gideon, everybody that Yahuwah used, everybody that kept the Torah, everybody that lived in obedience to the feast days and lived in obedience unto the Shabbats and kept them and obeyed Torah, received Yeshua. Salvation. Right? But you know what? After this, this that last, after that captivity, it was a struggle to maintain the Torah and it was a struggle to maintain obedience and having people walk in the offices that Yahuwah had called them to because they were just so twisted up by then. Yahushua had to, Yahushua knew he, that, Yahushua knew from the foundation of the earth that he was going to have to have Yahushua. But he still had to have a righteous Torah. Because if, if there was no righteous Torah and a people to be held accountable to this righteous Torah, then there was no justification for 
for the, the, the judgment of the wicked. Right? He says, Hamashiach becomes null effect to you. Whosoever you are justified by the law. Everybody who's like, oh, we got to have the law. We got to have the law. We got to have it all. We got to have, we got, we got to obey the law. And Yahushua came, right, to set us free. Right? From the law of sin and death. Now, the law was not unrighteous. It was us. Because the law revealed our sin and the consequences of violating it was death. It was not that the law was sin and death, but it was what, what transpired as a result of failure to obey a righteous Torah. Sin and death. A righteous Torah, a violation of a righteous Torah brought the consequences of sin and death. Right? Hamashiach is become of no effect unto you. Why? Because you're, you, you're, you're electing to walk away from the way, the truth, and the life, right? The Basora, the Torah made flesh, right? That is touched with the feelings of your infirmities, who in all ways was tempted like unto you, but yet without sin, because of his sacrifice, right? He who knew no sin became sin, that we might be made the righteousness of Elua in him. Because of his sacrifice, right? We are now sons of Elua, and we have received the adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father, because we have received this Ruach HaKadosh. You're willing to leave all of that to go back to the Torah, the Basor. Alone. <laughs> you gonna bumped your head like like these Edomite uh, Pharisees and Sadducees, these these wicked wicked thieves that come in any other way that don't even know the Torah. Moshe talked about Yahusha in the Torah. Tor was the schoolmaster. He was designed to get us to a place where we were ready to receive Hamashiach. Tor is righteous. That's why we still need to read and study the Torah because it's righteous. But now, because of Yahushua and, uh, and Yahuwah in us by the Ruach HaKadosh, not only can we keep the Torah, but the Torah will reveal to us truth where we would have been able to receive it without it. Woo! He says, for... We, through the Ruach HaKadosh, no, no, let's go back to verse 4. For Hamashiach is become of no effects to you, whosoever you are that are justified by the Torah, right? Ye are fallen from grace, right? Because Yahushua himself says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the Torah. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the Torah, I am the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. You can't be justified going to the Father, walking away from me, right, into a law that is righteous that you ain't going to be able to keep because if you violate in one place, you violate it all. And where are you going to get a sacrifice? Because the final sacrifice was Yahushua. You won't be justified. Can't be justified. Can't be justified. He says, for we through the Ruach HaKadosh wait for the hope of righteousness through faith. We wait, right, for the redemption. For the change in the moment. For the restoration of the nation. For the for the, for 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 being in the place and time and space that Yahushua has always appointed, that Yahuwah had always appointed, right? 
we wait for the time, the same as, as the creation travaileth and waited for the manifestation of the sons of Alua. Those who have been, who've received, uh, have been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and, and of the Ruach HaKadosh. Those who have been resealed by the Ruach HaKadosh. Those who have the earnestness of their inheritance, the Ruach HaKadosh. Those who he has predestined. The same ones that hear the voice of the shepherd that calls them at the door. <laughs> Uh, he says, for we through the Ruach HaKadosh wait patiently. For Yahushua Hamashiach neither sacrifice, Yahushua, for in Yahushua Hamashiach neither circumcision availeth any or uncircumcision, but faith in the that worketh by love. Listen. Circumcision was an outward sign that we were the people of Alua. But faith in Hamashiach, whether you are circumcised or not, is the requirement in Yahushua Hamashiach. See, because Yahushua, he came to his own. His own didn't receive him. But as many as did receive him, to them gave he power to be the sons of Elua. Right? He gave them the Ruach HaKadosh. Those that received him. Those who received his witness, those who had listened, right? those that were able to enter into the door, those that were the sheep that heard his voice when he called, because the sheep, the sheep hear his voice, right? They obey him. They don't just, they just don't hear his voice, but they make a move to follow him. They obey his Torah. For in Yahushua, neither circumcision availeth any nor uncircumcision, but faith, belief, and Yahushua, Hamashiach, being the way, the truth, and the life, right? Which worketh by love. Yahushua said, you should love. How do I know you love me? By keeping my commandments. <laughs> oh, listen, it's still the Torah. You she said, if you receive my Torah, you receive my word, you receive my basura, my good news, which is the Torah, and obey it and keep it, then we and the Father, me and the Father know you love us. So, you have to understand, Yahushua is not suggesting, and even Paul is not suggesting that the law is done away with, right? Or that the law is not good. That keeping the commandments is not to be, is, is something that we don't do. It's just not it. Yahushua said in John 14, 21, He that hath my commandments, right, and keepeth them. John 14 and 21. He that has my commandments and keeps them is, it is he that loves me. That's no different than what Paul says in Galatians. He says, For... In Yahushua Hamashiach, there's neither circumcision nor uncircumcision, right? But faith, which worketh by love. Faith and what? The Basor that worketh by love. Yahushua said, he that haveth my commandments and keepeth them is he that loves me. Let me say that again. He that haveth my commandments and keepeth them is he that loveth me. 
His father said it this way. For Yahuwah showeth mercies unto thousands of them that love him and keep his commandments. Why would you go from faith in Hamashiach and love and receiving the Ruach HaKadosh to going back to a Basorah or go back to a Torah that was righteous and good, but was there as a schoolmaster to teach you what you should do and what you shouldn't do to provide correction. The Torah under Yahuwah wasn't a Torah of mercy. It was a Torah of judgment. Now, if you kept his Torah, you would receive the righteous blessings attached to it. But if you broke his Torah, you'd be judged. And sometimes instantly. Yahushua came, full of grace and truth. Now listen, let me finish this up. He says, and he that loved me shall also be loved by my father. Right? Should be loved by my father. And I will love him and I will manifest myself to him. He said, listen, I'm going to manifest myself to you. Why would I want to go from being loved by Yahushua and walking in his commandments and having the Ruach HaKadosh to a Basura of truth, to the Torah, a righteous Torah, mind you, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a righteous Torah, right? Without the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah gave his Ruach HaKadosh not to everybody in the original covenant. He put his Ruach on the people that he chose to do what he needed them to do to bring them out of whatever it is or to take them through whatever they needed to go through. Everybody didn't have his Ruach HaKadosh. No. But they had a Torah that was righteous that they had to keep. Why would you go to a Ruach, go to a Torah, which is righteous now. It's a righteous Torah because Yahuwah gave it. And everything Yahuwah speaks is righteous. Everything Yahuwah gives is truth. Everything Yahuwah gives is, is, is holy and set apart, right? And if you keep it, right? You keep it. Keep it. Obey it because it's, it's before your face. You've heard Yahuwah declare it. You agree to, agree to enter into it, right? If you keep it, you'll be blessed. You ain't gonna have a Ruach HaKadosh. You ain't gonna have a Ruach HaKadosh. You ain't gonna have that, that that causes you to move in a certain direction when it's grieved. You have to wait till Yahuwah gets fed up with you. And <laughs> bring judgment. Or you know, he'll send this prophet who has his Ruach HaKadosh to speak a word to you. And if you receive it and offer a sacrifice and return to him, then he'll restore you. But if you don't, and you ain't got no unction, you won't have no unction, no Ruach HaKadosh. I got away, I got away a little bit. No, I didn't. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, it's all there. So, let's go back to Galatians real quick. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Yehusha HaMashiach, neither circumcision availeth any nor uncircumcision, but faith and faith that worketh in love. Right? Faith that worketh in love. Now let's go down to let's go down to this, because I, I want to hit this real quick. Let's go down to because this 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 is essential. This is why, this, this is a whole nother message, but I'm going to give it to you anyway, right? This is why everybody 
ain't supposed to go through the sheep door. Only the shepherd, right? Right, only the shepherd. And the shepherds that that are gain that gain access 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 by the porter into the sheepfold, right? They are in the way. They keep the truth of the Basora, and they have the life, which is the Ruach Hakadosh, right? He says in Galatians five and sixteen, this. I say, then walk in the Ruach HaKadosh and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So if your lust are being fulfilled in your flesh, then you do not have the Ruach HaKadosh. Plain and simple. If you are living out the lust of your flesh, right? You are violating the Torah of Yahuwah and Yahushua. Right? You do not have the Ruach HaKadosh. If you are a, a thief and a robber trying to gain access to the sheep that don't belong to you by any other way, right? You are a thief and a robber. You don't have the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen. The blind man that received his sight had this discussion with the Pharisees in reference to explaining to them how is it possible that a sinner can do the miracles that Yahushua did and give him his sight and yet this man not be something special. How can it be that you don't even recognize who this man is? You keep asking me who he is. Do you want to be his disciple too? He said, no, we are Moshe's disciples. And we're going to excommunicado you because you have received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. You have become his disciple. But they didn't see it. They didn't witness it. They didn't know it. Why? Because they came in some other way. They didn't even come in by way of the Torah. And Yahushua was the Torah made flesh. They didn't even come by the Torah of truth, the Torah, the Torah. They didn't keep it. They didn't keep the Torah. They were shepherds. They weren't even shepherds. They were thieves and robbers. The shepherd cares for the sheep. He says, this I say, then walk in the Ruach HaKadosh and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you walk in the Ruach HaKadosh, you, you ain't going to be, you ain't going to be, you ain't going to be fulfilling the lust of the flesh. <laughs> if you are lusting and fulfilling your lust, then you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh and you definitely shouldn't be teaching. You definitely shouldn't be up in front of people. You should be somewhere sitting down until you understand the necessity of the Ruach HaKadosh and acquire the gift that he's given and provided. He ain't going to deal it to you. You're going to put yourself in a position to receive it in obedience. He says, listen, he says, listen, for the flesh, verse 17, for the flesh lusts against the Ruach, Kakadesh, and the Ruach against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other, and they cannot do the things that they would. So listen, the Ruach Kakadesh is in opposition to the lust of the flesh. The Ruach Kakadesh is the spirit of Yahuwah. The spirit of Yahuwah don't want nothing to do with the flesh. That's why if you if you if you fulfilling your lust of the flesh, you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh because the spirit of you ain't in you. It ain't gonna be in you. You don't want no parts of that. They're contrary. One to the other. They can't coexist. The Ruach HaKadosh cannot coexist with lust. It cannot coexist 
with the lust of the flesh. One of them will occupy the house. They're in opposition. He says, but if you be led by the Ruach HaKadosh, then you are not under the law. Why is he saying that? Because listen, under Torah, right? Under Torah, you didn't have the Ruach HaKadosh. Under Torah, you didn't have the Ruach HaKadosh. Under Torah, you didn't have the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, or the Spirit of the Lord, came upon those who Yahuwah chose to do whatever work he needed to accomplish. He did not put his Ruach HaKadosh on all flesh. They did not operate with the Ruach HaKadosh unless Yahuwah's Ruach was put on them by him. He said, but if you are led by the Ruach HaKadosh, you are under Hamashiach. You've received the Ruach HaKadosh, you've received the Ruach of Yahuwah and Yahushua, and you're not under law. It doesn't mean that you don't keep the law. It, does, it means that you are not under the Torah because the Torah is not a Ruach. You don't have the Ruach HaKadosh in order to keep the Torah. But if you are led by the Ruach HaKadosh, you are not under the Torah. Doesn't mean that you don't keep the Torah. It just means that the original covenant that he cut for people who was the example of righteousness and judgment, because it's his righteousness and his judgment with the examples, right? See, so everything that we went through, right? Because of the choices that we made not to keep Torah, right? Those are righteous judgments. Doesn't mean you don't keep the Torah. Doesn't mean you don't keep the law. Are you crazy? Have you bumped your head? Oh, well, he's put the law in our hearts. Yeah, he has. He has. Which law? Do you know the laws? Then how they in your heart? You have to have the Torah to establish Imunah. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of you. You got to have the word of you. You got to have the Basura, the Torah of Yusha Mashiach in you, which is the Torah. And in the Ruach HaKadosh, yes, you 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 move in the Torah. You move with the love of Yusha and Yahuwah. He said, now the works of the flesh are manifested. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, uh, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variances, illumin illumination, strife, war, seditions, right? Envy, murmuring, drunkenness, reviling, right? Right? Let's do this. We're going to work it out, Yahuwah. We're going to work it out. Right? Exodus 20 and 1. The works of the flesh. Right? The works of the flesh are sin. Sin is a transgression of the law. The works of the flesh are sin. And sin is a transgression of the law. Of the law. Oh, well, yeah, let's go back to Galatians real quick. Let's look at this. We know what adultery is, right? Let's 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 do this. Let's do this because we're gonna hit this again. We're gonna hit it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these: adultery, right? Adultery is 
illicit sexual desires between uh, unmarried. Let's do it this way. Let's 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 put it under the 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 heading of fornication because uh, adultery is fornication, right? So fornication is. Strong's G, 4202, Parnaya. which is Parnaya. pornea, right? right? It's illicit sexual intercourse, right? So any illicit sexual intercourse is fornication, right? And under illicit sexual intercourse is adultery, right? It is homosexuality, right? It is lesbianism, right? It is intercourse with animals, right? It is intercourse with close relatives, right? It is intercourse with a divorced man or woman, right? Right? It is, it is idolatrous worship. That's connected to you, right? So, right? He says, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness. Uncleanness. What is uncleanness? Uncleanness is filthiness, right? Uncleanness is this, right? That's the Greek word for uncleanness. Strong's G one sixty seven, akathasia. 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 Right. Now that means uncleanness, both physical, right, moral sense, impurity, lustfulness, luxurious. A proper, proper, proliferating living, right? Impure motives. Imp, impure motives, right? 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 Why are you trying to enter into the sheepfold from some other way? As a thief and a robber, why are you trying to climb in to the sheepfold? Okay. And we read idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance. All of these things, right? Not, 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 now let's, let's, let's look at ex Exodus, right? And all these, all, and Alua spake these words saying, I am Alua, I am Yahuwah, thy Alua, which brought thee out of the land of Mitzrayim, out of the house of bondage. First commandment, you shall have no other else before me. No other else before me. What does he say in Galatians chapter five? Idultery, witchcraft, right? Idultery, witchcraft. All of these are attached to idultery, witchcraft, right? Adultery is the worship of other elves, which are heavily influenced by witchcraft, right? Hatreds and variants and emulations and wrath and strife and seditions and heresies, all of which are attached to adultery, right? Adultery, right? The commandment is, thou shalt have no other else before you. Thou shalt not make any graven images or anything in the likeness in the Shamaim above or that in the arets beneath and in the water of the, or no, the no idols. No idol worship. No witchcraft, no variants, no emulations, right? none of that, right? Thou shalt not bow thyself down to them to serve them, nor serve them, for I am Yahuwah thy Alua, am a jealous of Elohim, right? Now he was talking to the church of Galatia, the Gentiles, right? He was talking to the Gentiles, right? He was explaining to them the works of the flesh, right? He was explaining to them the, the works of the flesh, the things that they're not supposed to do, that are Torah. Exodus. He says, he says, he says, he says, and the earth beneath. Thou shalt not bow thyself down to them, nor serve them. For I am Yahuwah thy Elua, am a jealous Elohim, visiting the iniquities of the fathers unto the children, to the third and fourth generation. I hate me. Now, he was telling them, listen. 
you need to stick with faith in Yahushua Hamashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh instead of trying to go back to the Basura of Truth because you won't have the Ruach HaKadosh. And to be perfectly honest with you, listen, the nation of Israel has suffered because of their failure to keep it. And they are going to continue to suffer because their failure to keep it and having rejected the Basura of Truth, the Word made flesh, Yahushua Hamashiach and his Ruach HaKadosh. They trying to enter into the sheepfold some other way. He says, showing mercies unto thousands of them. This is one of my favorite verses. Showing mercies unto thousands of them that love him and keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. Keep his commandments, right? He said, and thou shalt not take Yahuwah, the Yahuwah, the his name in vain. For, for, Yahuwah will not hold them guiltless to take his name in vain. Huh. Not to take Yahuwah's name in vain. Do it all the time. People do it all the time. Speaking Yahuwah's name in vanity. Listen, they do it all the time. Exodus. He ain't gonna hold you guilty. He said, remember the Shabbat and keep it holy. Not Sunday service. Shabbat. That's why you better thank Yahuwah for mercy. Because once you come into the revelation of the Torah of truth, right? It's in your heart. You're supposed to obey it. That's why Christendom is, is, is twisted. Because they put the, you who should put the, the Basura of truth in your heart. And he expects you to keep the Torah. Right? He expects you to read it and study it and know it and have it in your heart. He expects you to keep the feast days. He expects you to keep Shabbats. He expects you to. Especially to keep the commandments. Because the Ruach HaKadosh, which is the spirit of Elua and Yahuwah in you, will keep you keeping the commandments. You who should say, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. As I kept the Father's commandments. Yahushua went to every Shabbat. He went to every feast day. He fulfilled every, everything that our people as a nation was required to do. Because it's the requirement. Even in Hamashiach. But we had to have a way to be reunited with the Father and to be able to keep his Torah. So he sent Yahushua full of grace and truth in the form of a man. Take the Lord now. Then it goes on to say, and there's these laws are about the Shabbat, right? Then he says, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the earth. Obeying and reverencing your elders, right? Thou shalt not kill, right? Thou shalt not commit adultery. What? Thou shalt not steal, huh? Thou shalt not lie. And bear a false witness against thy neighbor. Right? Thou shalt not covet, covet thy neighbor's house. Galatians 5. Galatians 5 says, Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, wickedness, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, murder, um, drunkenness, right? And drunkenness, reviling, right? Of such like the which I tell you before and I tell you in times past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Elua. 
because the Ruach HaKadosh ain't in you. The Ruach HaKadosh ain't in you. Ain't ain't the word, uh, a good word, but it ain't in you, the Ruach. He says, I say then, walk in the Ruach HaKadosh. And you ain't going to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the Ruach HaKadosh. You ain't going to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the Ruach HaKadosh. And you ain't going to be murderous and envying and, and drunken and reviling. You ain't going to operate in seditions and strife, haters, right? You ain't going to be a part of all of the sexual sins. Because he says adultery and fornication, but fornication includes all of it. So just because he didn't say homosexuality doesn't mean it's not included. Now listen, I didn't say this. Blue Letter Bible said it. This is a Blue Letter Bible translation of of the word, the definition of the word fornication, just so I don't get flagged for some misconduct. But what I'm saying is found in the strong concordance of the blue letter Bible who uses the strong concordance, which is G4202. And that that definition for fornication is illicit sexual intercourse, which means that when he said fornication, he was grouping it all together. Adultery, homosexuality, lesbianism, intercourse with animals, intercourse with close relatives, intercourse with with uh, uh, a divorced men and divorced women, out of the intercourse outside of the bonds of marriage. I ain't say the blue leopard Bible said it, right? But if you're a sheep trying to get in any other way, you're wicked and you're wrong. He says in Exodus 17, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's anything that's not neighbor's. You won't cover your neighbor's manservant. Why would you cover a man's? Manservant. Why would you have desires for manservants or his maid servants? Cover his ox, cover his ass, cover his neighbor, anything his neighbors. Why? They're a violation of Torah. We ain't supposed to do it. But yet, Yet in, e in Galatians, this is what he said is happening. He says, but the fruit of the Ruach HaKadosh is love. Now, how we know that we're in love? By keeping his commandments. It ain't rocket science. Uh, how do we know? How do we know that we love? Yahushua said in John 14 and 21, he that haveth my commandments and keep them, he it is that loves me. So we keep his commandments. And in keeping his commandments, we demonstrate our love for him. Right? And we have the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? The Ruach HaKadosh is the seal. It's the spirit of Yahuwah and Alua in us. It's what gives us the love. It's what makes us one. The Ruach HaKadosh. But the fruit of the Ruach HaKadosh is love, joy. This is what the Ruach HaKadosh... This is what the Ruach HaKadosh produces in you. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no Torah.
There's no Torah for the Ruach HaKadosh. Your Ruach HaKadosh is the Torah. The Ruach HaKadosh is Yahuwah and Yahusha in you. It's the word of Yahuwah. It's the Basur of you. Yahusha constantly said, you got to keep my words. You got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You got you to gotta read the Basur of truth. It causes you to, to change how you think. The Ruach HaKadosh will lead you. Listen, the Ruach HaKadosh will guide you. The Ruach HaKadosh will lead you. He said, listen. If we live in the Ruach HaKadosh, let us so walk in the Ruach HaKadosh. If we live by the Spirit of Yahuwah in a, and Yahusha in us, we have to walk by the Ruach of the Spirit of Yahuwah and, Yahuwah, Yahuwah and Yahusha in us. And if you don't, then you ain't none of his. You don't have the seal. You ain't a part of the beloved. You have not been redeemed. Whoo, Yahuwah. I think I only got the three verses of John. <laughs> Hallelujah. The word of Yahuwah. Listen, man, I love the word of Yahuwah. I love the word of Yahuwah. I love the word of Yahuwah. So let's go back to John. John, so we've established right i would i would like to think that you can you can uh, uh uh come to the conclusion that the torah right in keeping it is the same thing that paul was trying to get the church in galatians to recognize that they needed to be obedient in it Yahushua himself said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments as have I kept the Father's commandments. Love him. Walk in his love as I have am loved by the Father. Come on. He wasn't telling them they don't keep the law. He was just telling them that the law is a schoolmaster. The law is righteous, but it brought judgment. There's no grace and truth with the law until Yahushua came. Uh, when Yahushua came on the scene, he was the word made flesh. Yahushua said, and we beheld his glory. He also said, and I love this, I love this. I love this about Yahushua Mashiach, y'all listen, listen, listen. I love this. I love this, right? I love you, Hukana. I love his gospels. I love his epistles. He says in the first epistle of Yuhukana, the first verse, that which we that which was from the beginning. So he establishes who you who she was, right? Which we have heard, we've heard the Basura from his lips. We've heard him teach the Torah. We've heard him speak in reference to himself in the text and how it's fulfilled and we heard it, right? We've seen him with our eyes. We've seen Yahushua. Something about Yahushua, the word made flesh. We've seen him with our eyes. We looked upon him. He says, we, our hands handled him. I put my hands around him and I hugged him. I put my head on his breast, his chest, and he, he put his hands around me. This, this basura of life. This basura of life. He says, for the life was manifested and we have seen it. The Torah was manifested. He says it in first he says in the first chapter of John, in the beginning with the word, the word was with Yah, the word was Yah. The same was in the beginning with Yah, all things were made by him. And without him, without anything was made. Yahushua was the Basura, full of grace and truth. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, even it was the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The Basura!
He said, this life was manifest and we have seen it. We bear witness of it. We show you the eternal life. We show you because we're eyewitnesses. And we show it unto you, which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. <laughs> he said he was with the Father and it was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you. That which I have heard that which I have seen recorded in this decipher, I declare unto you, right? That ye also may have fellowship with me, right? That you may have Yahushua Hamashiach, the Father, the Son, and the Ruach HaKadosh on the inside of you. And that because of this, right, we can become beloved in the family of Yahushua. And because of this Ruach HaKadosh, right, because of Ruach HaKadosh, we can be one. We can have fellowship. He said, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his son Yahushua HaMashiach. How? Because when you receive the Ruach HaKadosh, the Father and the Son lives in you. <laughs> uh, you have the Ruach HaKadosh on the inside. You have the Ruach HaKadosh on the inside. Then you have the Basura of Truth. The Ruach HaKadosh is going to make you remember the Basura of Truth. And then we have it recorded here. So that we can see it in it with our eyes and release our emu nigh in it and trust the Ruach HaKadosh to reveal it to us. That which we have seen and declared unto you, our fellowship. Go back to Yehukanad. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, verse one, he that entereth not by the door into the sheep hole. You got to come through Hamashiach. Right? He is the way, the truth, and the life. You got to come through Hamashiach. And Yahushua was really trying to expose the Pharisees for what they were. He was trying to expose them and reveal to those who were hearing him their true nature. They've entered into this, 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 this sheep corral, this, this place that's designated for the shepherds, right? They've come in through another way. <laughs> through Herod. <laughs> Political influence. And now they're supposed to be experts in the Torah and they don't even keep it. <laughs> they're going to take a woman in adultery but don't take the man. But they know the Torah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know the Torah. They done got in some other way. But he that entereth by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Yahushua. I'm the door. Right? And I, I am let in by the porter. Now, the porter is the father. Has to be. Because he controls who comes in and who goes out. Yusha <laughs> says, I come through the door. Right? Because the father's going to only let those who come in, right, through the door, 
that are supposed to be in the door, right? But any thieves and robbers, they come in any other way. Yahushua said, I come in because I have access. And you know what? The sheep that belong to me, they hear me. <laughs> Man. He says, but he that entereth by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. See, because Yahushua cares for the sheep to the point where he's willing to lay his life down. Right? Could take, he could take his life up anytime he wanted to and choose to opt out, but he didn't because he was devoted to his father and because he loved the sheep. He's a shepherd. He's a devoted shepherd. Yahushua was everything, man. Yahushua was a high priest. Right? Uh, Yahushua was a high priest. Yahushua was an offering for, for, for atonement. He was an offering. He was a sin offering. He, he was the uh, uh, ox. He was an offering. He was the, he was the, uh, uh, the shepherd of the sheep. Right? The way in. You know, he led the sheep. Yahushua fulfilled all things. That's why you got to go through him. Only the shepherd enters in at the door. Everybody else is Steve and Robert. They don't have the Ruach I can dash. They don't have the Ruach I can measure. In measure. Because we all who have received the Ruach HaKadosh has received it in measure. And the measure is enough to do everything we need to do in Hamashiach. Until he comes and changes us. The measure is designed to keep us in the way. The measure is designed to keep us in obedience to the way. The, the Ruach HaKadosh, the measure of the Ruach HaKadosh is given to us so that we can walk in obedience unto Torah. We can keep his commandments, right? Because Yahushua was the Torah made flesh. And we have a commitment and obligation to keep his commandments. Yahushua said, I show mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep his commandments. Now, if we keep Yahushua's commandments, then we please the Father and we please Yahushua. If we obey what he says and we have the Ruach HaKadosh which is going to lead us and to guide us when we start to get out the way the Ruach HaKadosh is going to be grieving he's going to be like look man you, you got to check that you got to get back in the way you, you, you got to check that you got to repent for that you got to get that right because you you, you can't you cannot let that go it's Ruach HaKadosh in you you got to have the Ruach. You got to have the Comforter. You got to have that in you. The Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth. You got to have the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth in you. You have to. You got to have the Ruach HaKadosh in you. You got to have the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth in you. You got to have the Ruach HaKadosh of Truth in you. You got to have it. You, you, you just got to have it. You can't make it without it. You can't make it. You're going to die in your sins. He don't know you. You're a thief and a robber. So listen. Men of Yah, women of Yah. Elders. Emus. Mores, Morris. Okotes, Akis. Better get to Ruach HaKadosh and know that you have it. Because it's your seal. And it's going to cause you to walk in righteousness. It's going to give you what you need to be led. You who are given to me now, your Ruach HaKadosh, allow your Ruach HaKadosh, because I have it, allow your Ruach HaKadosh to lead me and to guide me. I submit to your Ruach HaKadosh. You got to submit to the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to submit to his direction. You got to submit to his guidance. You got to submit to his, his leadership. Ruach HaKadosh, you got to submit. We got as far as three verses. <laughs> but it's all good, right? And I'm going to stop because I know bruised attention span. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to stop because Ruach says stop. 
Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness, woman of Yahuwah, beautifully and wonderfully made. Yahuwah, I pray right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach that the words you've given me, I have given them. I pray that Yahuwah, that they would receive it by the Ruach HaKadosh. And if they have not received the Ruach HaKadosh, that the word, the Basur of truth, would somehow stir their hearts and to bring them to a place of needing and wanting and desiring the intimacy that comes with the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Yahushua. Yahuwah, I pray that they would receive the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, that they would receive the measure that you have given to them that will keep them secure if they walk in it, if they trust in it. I pray that they would receive it right now in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. And I pray that your word would come alive in them. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness, woman of Yah, beautifully and wonderfully made. Today, Yahuwah has favored you. Go in the favor of Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh. Go in the spirit, the Ruach of truth. And let it abide, remain, continue, and dwell in you and lead you. And with that, I say. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.